We like the idea of being able to come home and have a space to ourselves where we don't have a lot of visual noise. Everything looks very clean and very like in its proper places. Hi, my name is Natalie. I'm a lawyer. My name is Sean and I'm an engineer. We've been staying in this house for about two months now. This is located in Bukit Batu. The house floor size is 141 square meters. So the flat is 25 years old. It was relatively untouched, I would say. So when we saw the space, we didn't see the house for what was already in it. We saw the potential for the space and what we could potentially do in future. I guess we wanted something a little cleaner. Uh, I wouldn't say it's minimalist because we were pretty messy as well. We knew that we wanted our design to be kind of clean and sophisticated in some sense. Lah. So we took on this ID and his design style really matched what we wanted. Our designers spoke a lot about adding architectural elements to the space. There are some pillars that are scattered around the house that are not structural in the first place, but it was actually added on to give it that architectural look. The detriment of this is that you don't really get to have a console where you can hide your wires and your various devices. So we actually had to come up with this um, downturn and from that viewing angle, you can notice that you actually don't see any wires because they're all concealed at the back of this. I guess something interesting about the layout is that we actually have no bomb shelter or storeroom. So the house actually came this way, so I think the previous owners had already taken them down. What we have done to accommodate that is we've included full-length carpentry along one side of our living room, one side of our study, and we have a full wardrobe in our bedroom as well. Another important element for us was this design lattice and we wanted to like import it into Singapore but it was really expensive so we thought that we could work around this and have it custom built instead. So when you come home from the door then you see that there's a, like a portal and we wanted to keep this area an uh, outdoor area so we specifically use like pebble screen which is uh, something that you see at your HDB void decks and this is an area that we don't really mind getting dirty and it serves as a transition into the rest of our house. So this is our special floor. We really like it because it provides a seamless look throughout the entire house with no crowd lines. And with the lights on, it really looks like a showroom. And the floor texture is something that's very, very comfortable to walk on with your bare feet. We actually flew over an Italian specialist who came over for around a week to help us complete the project. Yeah, it was a really interesting experience seeing him work on the entire area. Our kitchen is actually a, quite a strange layout. It's an L-shaped design which actually is quite challenging when it comes to planning. So with like the typical rules of like golden triangle, we really like cracked our heads over how we could still establish this to make an efficient workspace. So the compromise for that is that we have our glass turning doors as well as a glass sliding panel. It allows us to interact with our guests if we want to and most of the time we leave it open to allow ventilation through the house. But at the same time, when we want to cook, we also have it closed so the fumes don't enter into our living space. We dedicated one room to the study. That's to cater for us working from home. And we had one more spare room. We are athletes and we play ultimate frisbee and we go to the gym a lot. So instead of travelling out to the gym, we decided to use one room and dedicate it to that space instead. Yeah. Our master bedroom is quite basic. We didn't think we had to put in many features because most of the time we saw ourselves living and hanging out in the living room much more. So the master bedroom and the master bathroom, for example, are like the only elements and spaces in our house where we wanted slightly darker elements. We heard that American walnut is a very durable and very long-lasting wood. It's also very good quality. At the same time, it's quite light as opposed to something like teak, which is also similarly durable but slightly heavier. So there are a lot of resources you can use on social media. You'll fall into a trap of comparison. But I think at the end of the day, the house is yours. So do with it what would make you happy. Thanks for staying till the end. Now if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackedhomes.com.